there was, um, especially in this area, there was, there was no electricity. The only people that had power lived in Columbia, Charleston, and a couple of little small towns in between. Cities got it first, but nobody was serving the rural parts of the county because it was 10 or 12 miles between the homes. So your, your agriculture, the, the people who lived on the farms and, and grew the crops that um, you know, sustained America had no power. You know, everything was manually done, and that was just a way of life. Well, you did the best you could. My mother bought Aladdin lamps for us to study by. You didn't use refrigerated food because that wasn't what you had. You used what you had. I was about nine or ten years old, probably when we got electricity. Went from darkness to light, and it was really something. It was significant. It was, it was the most significant event in my life that I can remember, getting electrical lights. Big city come to the country. During the Great Depression, FDR decided to create more jobs and create more development in the rural areas. Well, part of that was the REA, the Rural Electrification Act. That allowed the community here to find a way to provide power. Co-ops, electric co-ops came in and took that upon themselves to bring electricity to my grandmother's house. And I remember them telling the story of when the first power lines came in and they would hang the one little light bulb in the middle of the room. It just changed their whole life to have electricity in that room. 1939 was the first meetings. And then in 1940, they actually formed the cooperative. In 1941 is actually when they first, the first power started flowing to the farms. Well, this has always been a farming community. However, farming has changed considerably. Where it used to take eight or 10 people to run a farm this size, now we can run it with two or three. We have to adapt to change. Having lights and electricity brought in a whole new era of opportunities for rural communities. People who used to farm 24-7 now went to work for eight hours a day and made more money. And so it created a, a, a new wealth base for middle class working rural folks. People then were able to build houses, buy cars, uh, take a little vacation. And when you're working on the farm, that didn't exist. So for a lot of us, it was a game changer that moved us to a higher level and a better quality of life. The Tri-County is, is a huge impact here. Our members don't have to drive to the cities to go to work. They can find a job right here locally. We're now seeing more industry coming in, more diversified industry, industries such as Zeus Industrial Products, Starbucks Manufacturing. Corporate America has seen this area as a place to do business. We work very closely with Tri-County Electric uh, Cooperative to improve infrastructure, not just in our industrial cores, but throughout the county. We try to challenge our ag-related business to take it to the next level. We can only do that through an advancement in technology. And a lot of times we don't think about it because we flip that switch and it's always on. However, the infrastructure is a vital part. The teams that are working 24-7 around the clock to make sure that the rural areas are functioning and that our lives are better. Tri-County is a very reliable source and without them, we couldn't do our operation. We couldn't take care of our customer. If we lost power, it means thousands of dollars per hour. So when we have problems, they're here to take care of our need. Reliable power is, is very, very important to, uh, to be able to establish uh, any type of economic base in the county. You know, everything in our world today revolves around some type of use of electricity. There's nothing you do at home that does not consume electricity. 
So we have to be very, very aware of that and be able to react. And whether that's upgrading our infrastructure or try to figure new programs to help the members. Tri-County is not here just to provide electricity. Our core business is provide service to the membership. Rural areas like this, you actually did things beyond the city level of utilities. This annual meeting is packed just like this every year. And so uh, that means that folks are pleased and they, they want to be part of the process. And uh, to me, that's what it's all about. The co-op was a, is owned by the members. The customers are the owners of the co-op. We traveled like about 45 miles to get here. We love it. To move from 394 houses to almost 18,000 um, households, that's a long, long way from 1940. I believe the employees and the board and the membership has made this into a respectable company. In the end, that is the mission of the co-op. It's, it's to serve the community and to provide for the community whatever their needs are. But I can't really say enough about how important it is looking to the future to have partners like the Electric Co-op. In the future, um, we're gonna see a diversity of different sources, whether it be solar energy or wind or electrical. We're gonna see all those coming together in the next seven to five years. Thank you, Cooperative. You stayed the course, you did the work, and we're just glad to be part of this celebration. They are family, all of them. Happy birthday to you! 75 years, That's yes, a long time. That's a long time, yes. Five County Electric Co-op, happy 75th anniversary.